everyone welcome to a new Corum book review today I've got this absolutely beautiful beautiful colour and book and it's called Forest Girls Colour and Book now as far as I'm aware this is the second book in the series so this is the first one and I think this one's been out for around about a year and now this one's been released and so I've just purchased both of them together um, unfortunately they're not available on Amazon or anything and the only place that I could find it was Etsy so I will put a link underneath if you want to go and buy them on Etsy and I'm not affiliated or anything with that um, I just want to show you them because they are absolutely gorgeous I just absolutely love them so I'll do a full flip through of this because the video is about this book but then if anybody wants to see the first book as well I'll add a quick flip through of all the pages of this at the end this is now my favourite colour and book this one and the both, both the pictures are absolutely gorgeous this is just has the slight edge because it's you know it's like a premium edition hardback and it's a better quality book but as for the images inside they're just both completely stunning okay I'll start with book two and there's a little poem on this page at the beginning and then first of all there's a few things to colour it in so you can have a little practice on the paper on these first few pages which is really good I don't know if it's watercolour paper but it's very 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 good quality paper okay so after that we start off with the first section part one which is pretty things from the forest so for each of the colouring pages you get the page itself to colour over to the right and then you get a copy of the actual painting so all these pictures must be full paintings by the artist and had I think her name is pronounced Airpol, but I'm not quite sure on that. So you're getting like a copy of the painting as well, so you can copy the colours off that. And then there's also the name underneath of the painting. So we've got the girl and her cute little dog and just a lovely wreath of forest kind of berries and toadstools and things around there. And then there's just the girl on her own in the forest. So I think all of the pictures has got the dog and the squirrel in them as well. I'm not going to just keep repeating how gorgeous every page is, but every page is absolutely gorgeous. So that's kind of like took you through her full day and then here she is in bed at night with her cute little pets. And then the second part, part two, a good day for a trip. So she goes on a trip in this one. hope you can see the line work okay because it's actually in grey which is good because it means it'll just completely disappear when you get the colour over the top of it but there's so much detail it's just absolutely fantastic
this one here they're kind of flying over the top of what looks like Paris kind of like the snowman style And then part three, tea time on clouds. And then the Christmas tree at the end, that's the last one. So this book has got 40 pictures in, I counted 40, and the little book has got 58, approximately 58. Okay, so if anybody wants to see all the pages of the first book, I'll quickly show those now. So the first section is called The Girl in the Forest. Then the second section, a day spent at home. So these are all pictures of her in her house with her little pets. So this paper isn't as good quality as the other book, but it still feels like good quality paper. It's a lot smoother. The larger book is the second book has got a lot more tooth to the paper and it could possibly be watercolour paper but I'm not sure where then the third section is season of blooming Thank you. 
Okay, so that's those. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.